Hey guys, what's up? So, um, I was talking to Kellen about getting better at these vlogs and stuff, and we did a really good job this weekend of shooting video. I'm sorry, that might have been terrible. We did a really good job this weekend of shooting video that was going to be really cool at the Hatfields, and I was pretty stoked about that. But I had a really bad job about like setting it up and telling you guys what we were doing um, in the morning and kind of giving you an update and breaking the day down. So. This is gonna be a really bad job of me kind of clipping together a before, during, and after wrap up of that day. So this is the beginning of the really bad start of the day. It is Saturday morning, June something. Um, calendar still says May here at the house. Good job us. So yeah, um, it's June now. It must have been like June 10th on Saturday and we were in Tallahassee, Florida with our great friends, the Hatfields. Having an awesome time. We got in late uh, Friday night and just let the kids play and had some drinks and then um, started doing fun stuff Saturday. We just swam in the pool all day, which you guys are going to see now. So yeah, we swam all day, we took a lunch break and had a good time uh, with a little break and then uh, got back in the pool Saturday night. If I got footage of that, you'll see it now. had some delicious snacks. Um, we had some great food. Um, we always try to have some kind of sort of interesting food when we're together, I feel like. So uh, we did some stuffed dates and a recipe that I got from Jacques Lindsay's at uh, Disney Springs, which is awesome. It's just, it's really easy. If you guys want to try it out, it's um, take some raw almonds and coat them in a little bit of oil and some spice, like cayenne and black pepper and whatever else you want to use. A little bit of salt, just give it a little kick and uh, toast them in a skillet and then combine that like take a date and you stuff the dates and then put some goat cheese in there and it's amazing. Um, at Jocelyn's they serve it with pickled vegetables. We didn't do that but they're just they're delectable so trust me try that out if you're uh, looking for a fun new treat. We had uh, fajitas for dinner. Julie made us fajitas which were amazing. Thank you Julie and uh, yeah chips and salsa just the normal thing and then back in the pool so uh, great day, lots of fun. Oh, I made tuna dip. I did make some tuna dip and I added bacon this time, so that was really special. And uh, awesome stuff there. So, just uh, you know, Saturday around the pool, having some drinks and fun, and uh, swimming with the kids. Now it's Sunday morning, and it's not really Sunday morning, but it was Sunday morning. We just packed up, we swam a little bit at rain through the dip frisbee, and um, had some fun, and then you know, just packed up and drove back home. Ran into a little bit of rain and some uh, an accident or two, so it took us a little bit longer, but we made it home just in time for Jamie and the kids to get to vacation Bible school for the week, and um, that was what we did. So it was a great weekend with the Hatfields, as always, and can't wait to see them again next month. So that was the weekend in Tallahassee. Um, do you guys have any favorite uh, pool? 
foods or activities, games you like to play when you're around the pool, let us know. Jamie and I and the kids are putting a pool in this summer. And um, yeah, just let us know if you have any cool ideas. So. All right guys, so now it's Monday. You're gonna see me wearing the same clothes and the same video for the weekend's video and for Monday's video. Um, today was crazy. Uh, I broke Jamie's phone this weekend. So we had to go ahead and get new phones. And we were due for new phones, so it was no big deal. But um, still, it's like one of those things you don't plan on doing. So then I pretty much spent all day getting phones reprogrammed. Kellen's getting his first phone, which is actually my old phone. But um, yeah, so I was at uh, T-Mobile, we use T-Mobile. It works great here. They have a lot of great features and um, like programs and specials. It works terrible in rural areas, so I often find myself in trouble when I'm on the road, but luckily we have a Verizon hotspot that I can use when I need to, when T-Mobile kind of doesn't have the coverage we need. But the prices are great, and it works great for us here. I love it. Jamie's not a super big fan, but I am, and um, yeah, so it works for me. But it's been pretty much all day working on phones. It was a little bit frustrating. Not sure what the deal was. But now, they're working, so whatever. We all got new phones. Jamie got the new, uh, 7, whatever it is, S, not the huge plus one, but 7S, 128 gig. I got the SE, which is awesome. Let me show it to you. I'm kind of weird, because I don't like the big phone. I like simple. Look at this. It's super red. It looks like my five. It's like a four and a five. Like, it's like the middle sibling of the four and the five. It's awesome, I love it. Uh, my buddy Bane has a four, and I'm super jealous, because it's like a tiny little brick. And that feels just like that. Didn't have to get a new case. Awesome. Super stoked about the, the SE. So, yeah, I got the SE 128 gig. Mine worked perfectly because the store did it. They told me I could do Jamie's and Kellen's here at the house. It didn't work. So, now they have to do, I had to restore like factory settings on those and go from there. Um, they're back at Vacation Bible School now. And um, I'm prepping. So, when I travel, I prep all the food for Jamie and kids. Not all the food, but most of the food. I made a breakfast casserole tonight. I'm sweating because it's super hot in here. I got the oven going and uh, everything else. So I um, made dinner for them. They took off and now I'm prepping. I'm, right now I'm working on a, a pasta casserole, like a lasagna without the lasagna. There's the egg mixture. I went and picked some uh, awesome fresh basil and there's some ground turkey. Check this basil plant out. It is going crazy right now. Like we had one of those little, we had one of those little basil plants from Home Depot, and it was like a little, little container. We put it in this pot, and look at that beautiful thing. It is taken off, it's crazy. So, um, if you like herbs, just grab one of those and put it in some good soil outside. That thing is a beast, gorgeous. So, yeah, so now I'm just finishing up prepping, and uh, I'm gonna make the rest of this spaghetti casserole tomorrow. I'm gonna make them a burrito casserole, so that Jamie can kind of warm stuff up on the go on the fly when she doesn't have time to make a fresh meal. And um, yeah, then, uh, Tomorrow's Tuesday, more fun. Kel and, uh, Kel and I will try to do something cool tomorrow, so. Peace, y'all have a great night, thanks. Oh, I should say this. Um, I'm gonna travel, and food on the road is hard, so if there's anybody out there that travels a lot that has any good tips for good food on the road, I'm open, I'm ready for some new stuff to do on the road, so let me know. Hope you guys have a great night, thanks. All right, so I'm about to start editing, and um, this shot could look weird. I don't even know what it looks like. I don't even know if I moved it. Um, so, I'm gonna do some of this stuff too. Now this is what I did to Jamie's phone this weekend. So that's why we got the new ones, and why I can fly them all day. Um, also got this thing, Sync Up Drive. I don't, I don't even know what it is, they told me it was Wi-Fi in your car, and um, when I actually looked at it, it has this. What is that? What? Where did that go? Um, I'm gonna Google it, YouTube it, whatever, but um, do you have one of these? Is it good? I don't know. This is the phone Jamie got. Rose Gold. I think is the color she chose, and um, yeah, so she's pretty soaked. But yeah, this this is the this is the real thing. I, I don't know what this is. I'm gonna start editing video now on uh, the old MacBook, 
if you can see the mess, I'm sorry. This is just real life. Got my, uh, just, if you can't hear, this is what I'm talking about, it's a mess. Got my work stuff there, my notes for the day. Recycling, it's gonna make it out there eventually. These are, talk to my boy, Bane, about Palhana. Um, I read up for Palhana. It's an awesome paddleboard company. I, it's kind of weird every time someone asks me what I do and I tell them I'm in sporting goods, I work for Dynamic Discs and Palhana. And um, or I tell them I'm a paddleboard rep a lot of times and they say who? Because we live in Fort Long Beach and we have a bunch of notable paddleboard companies here in town and I tell them Palhana and they give a funny look and I'm like, they're super sweet boards. So if you haven't heard of Palhana, check them out. Um, I might try to put a link in. They always say here. I don't even know how that works, so we'll see how that works. But yeah, Palhana is cool. Um, beautiful boards, well-made boards. Um, yeah, Google it, figure out what's out. And um, yeah, if you want to have any questions about power boarding, let me know. I'm no pro, I'm no pro disc golfer either, but I can make up an answer pretty quick. So there you go. Um, videos coming soon. Thanks.